Hello everyone and welcome back to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. Today we are going to be covering how to edit a material. Now we come up into our model the same way that we always do. And what we're going to focus on here is our planter. I'm going to zoom into the planter and show you what the error is as far as the materials are concerned. And we'll take a look at how to fix this. I've got a couple of nice little tricks for you to use. I'm going to hover over the top of the planter box and then just roll my wheel away from me. And you can see that we zoom in and the problem is pretty evident. So the grain of the wood on the front of the planter box here is going left to right, but on the end, it's going up and down. This is assigned by level and color. So the bottom of the planter box and the top of the planter box both have the same material, wood 35. You can see the bottom of the planter box looks good. On the end here is uh, horizontal grain. On the front of the bottom of the base is horizontal grain, but that does not carry over to the top. We have a vertical grain here on the end. I'm going to back off a little bit. I want to kind of look down into the planter, so I'm going to show you a nice little trick here. I'm going to use the rotate view command, but the first thing I'm going to do before I do my rotate view is I'm going to snap to this planner. See, I've got the whole planner in view. I'm going to force a tentative snap, and now this becomes my point of rotation when I go to the rotate command. So I'm going to say view rotation, dynamic, left click in the screen, and you can see that's my center of rotation now. And I just want to look down into the planner a little bit. This is assigned by level and color. So the whole top of the planter has the same material on it. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a new material that has a different rotation. We're going to open up the visualization workflow. We're going to go to the home tab. And we're going to launch the material dialog box. Now, if you don't know what um, material this is, I'm going to show you how to find that out. But uh, I know that it's wood 35. That's the material that we have there. If we don't know the material, let's say I have uh, 10 different woods in here. What I can do is I can come up here to the materials group, come to this bottom command, expand the list, and click on query, and then touch the top of the planner, move off and accept it. And you see it tells me that it's wood 35. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to edit that material just to show you what it does. If you take a look at wood 35, on the right hand side here you have some settings that we can edit this material. I can make this a lighter wood or a darker wood by editing the color. The boom light cube is to edit the picture. We can set it either metallic or I can set the roughness of it and add some texture to it. I can change the surface. I can set a glow to it and I can set the transparency of it. What we want to do though is come in here to the blue and white cube I was talking about earlier. Click on that and you can see the rotation of this material right now is 90 degrees. The way that I drew this is why the end cap is a different angle. What we're going to do just to show you that we can do this is I'm going to change my rotation angle to zero and you can see that that automatically changes the rotation of the material on the planter. Now let's set that back to 90. So what we need to do is to create another material that is a zero rotation and attach it to the end. Let's go ahead and close the pattern editor. Come up here to palette and we're going to hit open. And we are going to find the wood palette. That's where I originally got this wood from, is from our wood palette that we deliver with MicroStation. Here's wood 35. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to right click and paste it in my build palette. Now you see that it put a one after it because you can't have materials named the same thing. I'm going to change the name of both of these. 
This one is going to be a zero degree rotation. So I'm just going to take the one off of there and put dash zero. And I'm going to actually change this one to dash 90. So that's a 90 degree rotation. That's a zero degree rotation, just so I can keep them straight. Now, let's go ahead and highlight that. You can uh, click on the pattern map use. And you can see that it is set to zero. Close the material editor there. And I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to hit attach. So attach will allow us to attach it to a single face. I'm going to select the top of the planner and then select this face and move off and accept it. And now you can see the wood grain is horizontal. While I'm here, I'm going to do the inside of this one here because that one's wrong. Inside face there, I've got a, a horizontal grain there now. I'm going to go to my rotate command. I'm going to rotate so I can see the end and the inside of the other one. See that one is vertical too. This one is vertical as well. So again, I'm going to right click, attach. I'm going to attach it to this face and accept. And I'm going to attach it to the inside face here and accept. Our planner looks good. We've got all the wood grains going the right way. And that is editing a material. Thanks for watching. Keep looking for new videos. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.